Hey, what's up everybody? Fuller here. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Hope you've been enjoying my videos on Metasounds. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a basic concept, but I think one that's important and it's something that should be grasped uh, if you're an audio designer, a sound designer, or anything like that. And that's the concept of these three nodes in uh, the blueprints that have to do with Metasounds, and that is the play node, the create 2D sound node, and the spawn 2D sound node. I want to talk to you about the difference uh, in those nodes and the importance of creating references for your meta sounds. Uh, in a lot of my videos, we spawn meta sounds by dragging them into the world or the level blueprint, and all that's cool for basic tutorials, but when you start building out bigger games, you're going to want to either create other blueprints that bring in your sounds or you're going to want to spawn them in your levels. So I want to look at these three nodes real quick. And this is going to be a fairly short video. Uh, I know a lot of my content's pretty long, but this is a shorter one, but I think it's very valuable and definitely don't skip over this. And also just a reminder, hey, like and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to put some comments in the comment section, especially if you have experience or insights about these topics and you have some things to add to the conversation. That would be great. Metasounds is an ever-evolving kind of new thing, so the community input is very valuable. So hit that like button and let's get rolling. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using four different Metasounds. They're just increasingly intense levels of strings. That's all they're at. They're in the same tempo, which is 86 BPM. That's not really important for this, but just thought you should know. So let's look at the level blueprint, okay? So we're gonna open up the level blueprint here. And I have, on begin play, I have enabled input, okay? And the reason I've done that is because I just wanna be able to press keys on the keyboard. And the way you do that is you just, on your begin play, you enable input, get your player controller, and that's it. And then you can, add keystrokes here. So let's just go keyboard, P, okay? And then anytime I hit P, I want it to do something, okay? So let's move these down here. Let's say I just want to print a string, and I want that string to be P, okay? So now when I play this level, I'll be able to do that with my mouse. So I'm gonna hit P, and then there you go, right up here. Every time I hit the word, the key, it um, adds a stroke. Now I'm gonna do that just so that we can trigger these things, okay? So when it comes to creating sounds, uh, specifically meta sounds, there's there's three nodes we have, right? We have the play sound 2D, create sound 2D, and spawn sound 2D, okay? So what is the difference between these nodes? Well, let's look at play sound 2D first, okay? This is probably the most common, and it would be the first one that you would grab. Uh, so when I and the way you br the way you get to this is you just right click on your blueprint graph, and you type play sound, and there it is, play sound 2D. You can do it at location also, but right now we're just going to hit play sound 2D. Okay. So now when we connect this to begin play, it's going to play whatever sound you have selected here. So for this one, let's just do track two which is our string sound. Now, I'm gonna hit play, and you're gonna hear the sound play pretty much instantly. Okay? So now our sound is playing in the game. That's great, right? Pretty cool. Well, here's the thing. That's all you can do with that node. You hit play, and then you're pretty much screwed. Now, you can add some, you can change the, the volume, the pitch, the start time, you can add a concurrency setting, you can select the owner, owning actor, then you can also say this is a UI sound, okay, which uh, like a widget or touching stuff is a UI sound. So um, the problem with play sound too is it's great for a one-off sound. Say you want an explosion, okay? Actually here, let's just pull up an explosion. Uh, let's just use the random explosion here. Now, when I hit play, you'll hear the explosion. Great, awesome. Let me show you something down here. Let's go stat audio command and let's just see what's happening. So watch this right here on active sound sources. Let me hit play, active sound source one, and then watch this. After that sound is done, it goes to zero. Well, why did it do that? Well, because the explosion sound is a one-shot sound. It's just a wave, that's all it is. It plays and when it's done, it destroys itself out of memory. That's great. Meta sounds don't do that. So what happens if we make a meta sound? So let's let's pull back in track one. 
And uh, actually, let's do let's do track four, super intense, obnoxious one. Okay, so track four, and I want to make sure I turn off looping. Okay, and all I'm doing here really is I'm playing a wave player, that audio asset, and then it's going to a mixer. But I don't even need that because I was doing something else. It's just a basic meta sound. If you don't know how to build a basic meta sound, do yourself a favor, stop this video and go watch my other videos on how to create a basic meta sound, because that's important. Don't put the cart before the horse. So, when I hit play, okay, I'm gonna turn the loop off, okay? So watch this, I hit play, this meta sound's running. Okay, it's kind of a long, long phrase, so bear with me. I think this is it right here. It's eight bars, here we go. Okay, now it stopped. That's great, but look, this meta sound is still running. So, actually, let's speed up the start time. Let's go 12 seconds so it starts faster. Okay, so now watch. What happens to this is in the game, if I use play sound 2D, it's gonna start, okay? So we have an active audio source, but check this out. When it stops, this number is not gonna go down. Okay, so it stopped, the sound's done, but we have a problem here. Our audio source is still playing because this meta sound is still running, okay? The problem with that is if you do that too many times, it's gonna fill up your memory, it's gonna cause massive problems, and eventually your engine's gonna crash or some really weird stuff is gonna happen. So the play node is only good for one-off sounds. Now. I could put this that this on finish node, which we've talked about before, that's what that's for. So what this does, if you connect on finished, after you're done playing a sound, the meta sound is done playing the wave, it will kill it itself, okay? It will, that sounds terrible. It will get rid of, it will destroy itself and get rid of itself. But we don't really want to do that often with interactive music because we're not just looping stuff, we're doing all sorts of logic. So let's keep those on loop. Let's go back to, Asset for, um, let's see here, track four, let me turn that loop back on, okay? Because I want that looping, okay, so there we go. All right, so now that's looping again. So, now, here's the problem. When you spawn a meta sound inside the Unreal Engine, you are creating an audio component that is then playing in the game. The problem with Play Sound 2D is it is not making a reference for you, okay? There's no reference happening here. You see right here, it says fire and forget. It's not making a reference. So we can't go back and stop it or pause it or change it or do anything to it. So that sound is created and then it's just kind of like off doing its thing like a wild horse and there's no way to get to it. So play sound, you want to only use that for one-shot sounds, okay? One-shot sounds. Um, and it says here, this uh, event is only for cosmetic, not game play action. Plays a sound directly with no in in attenuation, perfect for UI sound. So if you ha press a button, boom, it clicks, and then it's done. So forget about play sound 2D. You're not going to really probably want to use that. Now... So what do we do to play a meta sound and then get a reference to it? Well, there's two things we can do. One, we can create sound 2D. All right, let's talk about this one. So let's create sound 2D, and we're going to choose track two, and we're going to hit play. Now, check this out. Nothing happens. And if you look down here, there's no active sound source. Well, why is that? Well, because what we did here is we created a 2D audio component. And now we can take that audio component and we can play it or stop it and do all kinds of stuff to it. And the way we do this is so when this creates a 2D sound, it's going to generate an audio component for that. So what we want to do is we want to drag off this and we want to promote this to a variable. We want to come over here under components. See under components, let's call this playing. Let's call this currently playing. Currently playing meta sound, okay? Now, now what's gonna happen, now if I hit play, it's still not gonna do anything, you're still not gonna hear anything, okay? But what we did do 
is we created this variable. Now from here, watch this. Let's add a keystroke. Let's say keyboard P is going to get this. Now what we can do, we can take this variable, and this is really important. Go check out my video on variables. You can take this, well, it's, it's technically a variable, but it's a component variable. So we're gonna pull this out here. Currently playing meta sound. We're gonna get our currently playing meta sound, which you see here is an audio component. Now we can pull off this and do stuff. Let's play this sound, play. See, it doesn't say play 2D anymore because we've created a 2D sound. So we're gonna play this. So now when I hit P, it's gonna play the sound. Watch this. So, game is started, meta sound is created, nothing's playing. Watch this under active sources. I'm gonna hit P. Now we are playing. We have an octave audio source. You saw up here. Every time I hit P, it, it replays it. Pretty cool. Okay, so now what if we want to stop it? Well, tell you what, let's pull off this again. Currently playing meta sound and let's go pause. Let's go to set paused. Okay, and so we're going to bring in a keystroke Let's go L. So over here, we're going to go L. And when I press this, I want to set pause to true. And then when I release it, I want to set pause to false. So now when I hold down L, oops, I need a target, which is the meta sound. I'm getting a little sloppy here, but bear with me. Um, what If you don't want to get sloppy like this, you can actually um, bring this over here. And you can now, since you have a reference, you can bring this over as many times and you can reference it. So we'll just do that. So these two items here are referencing the same thing as this is. So I'm gonna hit P, I'm gonna play that, and then I'm gonna press and hold L, and it is going to, oh wait, let's reverse that so it's a little cleaner. Let's, that's confusing. Okay, yeah, let's go here. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. When I press it, it's gonna pause it, when I release it, it's gonna unpause it. Okay, so check this out. So, we're gonna go play, P. Now I'm gonna hit L, it's paused. Now when I let go of L, how cool is that? So it's, it's, a, it's a pause button, pretty cool. Now notice, I'm pausing it, but we still have an active source right here, and I unpause it. So what that's doing is it's spawning, so when you create a 2D sound, you're creating an audio component, we're storing it as a variable, then with that variable, we can control it like you would a tape deck. You can play it, you can pause it, you can also stop it. Um, and so when you stop it, check this out, I'm gonna go stop. Now when you stop it, what's the difference between stop and pause? Well, for one, when you stop it, it you can't, you know, you gotta start it back over from the beginning. But here's the most important thing, watch this. So we're playing, now we're stopping. But when we stopped it, look what happened. Active audio went back down to zero. When you stop this meta sound, it's gonna erase it from the memory. So when I hit stop, I'm gonna hit P for play. Now we got this. Now I'm gonna hit L and I'm gonna stop it. It takes it out of memory. Now, here's something to consider. When I hit P again, it doesn't start it again. Well, why is that? Well, because that sound has now been destroyed. So what we have to do is we have to recreate it. And what you can do, 2D, oh wait, hold on, create 2D sound. And we are going to go to track one this time. Let's go track, one, or yeah, no, let's go track four. Track three, there we go. Track three. Now we're creating this. And then we're going to set current variable, okay? So we're gonna stop this, and then right after we stop it, we're gonna create a new one, and we're gonna change it to track three. And then when we play again, it's gonna play that one, so check this out. So we're, we're starting, and we are starting, let's go to, let's move this to track one. So we're gonna move this to track one. Then when we stop it, we're gonna Fill it back up, we're gonna fill this variable back up, but we're gonna fill it up with track three. So now check this out, here we go. P for play. That's track one, now we're gonna stop it. 
Now, when I hit, now we stopped it, but we also loaded it back to track three. So now when I hit play again, you're gonna hear track three. And now when I hit stop again, it's gonna hit track three again. So you're basically reloading it back up. Now, one thing that's really cool, we're gonna create an array here. So every time I stop it, it randomly fills that variable, which is that placeholder for our Metasound, that audio component, back up into one of those tracks. But it's gonna do it randomly, okay? So I'm gonna create um, an array here. It's an array. And we want, uh, let's go Metasound. We want to do a meta sound source object reference. Okay, so now we're going to call this uh, meta sound playlist. Okay, we're going to compile this and we're going to come over here. We're going to make four of these and uh, we're going to do track one, track two, we're going to go track three on this one, and we're going to go track four. On this one. So now we have an array of meta sounds to choose from. How are we gonna choose them? Okay, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna get our playlist. Now, and we're gonna come out of here and we're gonna go get random, oops, sorry. We're gonna go random array item. So it's gonna just grab a random one. And we're gonna set it to there. And just for kicks, let's, yeah, let's set it to the name. So every time I hit L, it's gonna give me a new one. There's two, four, four, three, four, 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 one, two, so it's random. Okay, so now when I hit play, there it is. We're gonna stop it, we're gonna replay it. Three, we're gonna stop it, now it's gonna hear two. We're gonna stop it, now we're gonna hear four. Okay, so see what we're doing? This is the beauty of the Create Sound 2D. You're creating a placeholder for the sound. So you're creating the sound here, MS Track 1, and you're storing it as a variable that you can now access and manipulate throughout the game. And it only goes away when the meta sound stops, which could be unfinished inside the meta sound, or we can stop it manually. But just remember, when you stop it manually, you gotta recreate it. Uh, you got to refill this variable stays here, but it's not referencing anything. So you got to point a new reference to that variable. Okay. Now let's just talk real quick about what's the difference between create sound 2D and spawn sound 2D. And the basic difference and the only difference really, as far as I know, when you spawn a 2D sound, it automatically starts playing. Okay. So we don't even have to hit P. So let's check this out. So here we go. It's already playing, but the same logic. If I hit P again, it'll replay it. If I hit L, it'll stop it and reload it. Okay, so the main difference is that it creates the 2D sound and plays it all in one fell swoop, okay? So there's not, uh, I don't, think there's much difference uh, you know the biggest difference between spawn sound 2d is that it automatically plays it so it's like create sound and play at the same time and you got your reference over here and then you also have this option to persist across the level transitions um, I'm not exactly sure that what that does but I'm imagining what it does is it keeps this component the currently playing meta sound it probably keeps a reference to that um, I'm not real sure, honestly. If you know what that does, uh, please leave it in the comments. Play Sound 2D, we got Create Sound 2D, and we got Spawn Sound 2D, and that is the main difference between them. You really wanna kinda know those because then that will allow you to choose the right way to do it. Uh, the most important thing is that anytime you create a sound that is looping, that doesn't auto destroy and is not a one shot, you always need to create a reference variable to it so that you can access it later and do things with it. Otherwise you can have a huge mess on your hands. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. It was great to hang with you again. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications when I release new videos and we'll see you in the next video.